this should be interesting. Hello. Can I do for you? Huh? What can I do for you? Oh, uh, I got a C4 uh, Corvette, and I was trying to look on the internet, see how to lower the back end, at least one inch. I got no clue, man. Why are you calling me? Huh? Why are you calling me? I was looking at your video and they gave you a phone number. Yeah, my videos give a phone number, but it doesn't say call me to help you lower your Corvette one inch. Okay, that's my bad. I'm sorry. No, that's cool. I just, I, I just wonder what, I get calls like this and I wonder what would possess somebody. I'm just selling a Corvette and somebody calls up asking me stuff. I mean, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Okay, okay. When I put in that, I, I, I put on there how to lower a C4 at least one inch. Did you get it? Huh, well that's cool man. I don't know though, good luck on it. Okay, okay. I got a red C4, I was, I was trying to go and crank a wheel on it, you know. Okay, well I'm sorry man, good luck. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye bye. And I'm trying to be nice and not talk before I get off of this thing again. Are you for fucking reals? Like seriously, what possesses somebody to call me up about that? I mean, it's not anywhere in, it's, hey, one owner car guy, and what I've got here for you today is a Corvette and blah, 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 blah. Hoping you fix it? I mean, I couldn't even be liable. I don't want the responsibility. And it depends on the day and how much pressure I've got on me as to my kind of reaction to that kind of stupidity. For fuck's sake. Uh-oh. As I say, don't do it, guys. Who is this guy now? Unknown. This ought to be interesting. Always is. Hello? Hello? Hi, what can I do for you? Hi, I'm interested in the uh, 2008... Uh, oh, hang on. This is sold. Actually, I'm interested in the 2003 Ford Excursion that you have for sale. It's not available in the United States. Oh, okay. Uh, What about it? Uh, can I get homosexual in the back? I'm sure from the sound of your voice that you can, and you probably do a very good job about it. Yeah, I, I was just wondering if I could, if I could you know, like bring my cousin raw from the back in the, in the back of the truck. From the sound of your voice, I wouldn't doubt it at all. Okay. Okay. So, so can I buy it? No. I, I doubt it. I very, I very much doubt it. I don't. I don't think you'd be able to. Sexual favors, damn it. No, no. But hey, man, thanks for, thanks for, thanks. Awesome, awesome. And that's what you deal with here with these people. So, anytime somebody thinks I don't deal with my calls correctly, or thinks that I am being mean, or something. Fuck you, is what I got to say to you. One more time? One more time, what? What did, what did the Lexus LS400 sell for that you had? I have no clue. You have no clue? No. But thanks for calling, man. I'm, I, I'm done with this. I, thank you for calling. Well, fuck you, you fuck your mother, you goddamn be, cunt. You shouldn't even be in a fucking business. Go well, fuck your fuck mother, you fucking on, loser. Right. Yeah, whatever. You expect everything you entitled. You're, you're, you're an entitled fucking... You're an entitled twat. I'll, I'll fix your fucking ass. Yeah, you will. It's a deal. Okay, I've got to take it... Well, it or that. Two blocks and go get the title. Okay. It's at my P.O. box. If you want to ride again... Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back then. Hello? What can I do for you? What car is it? Hang on a second here. Hang on a sec. One more time now. I'm sorry. One more time. Uh, no. Okay, I gotta go.
Hello, do you know what you're calling about now? Like I said, it's in the beginning, it wasn't specific. It wasn't a specific call. Okay, well, I can't. I can't. I don't, don't really know what to do for you then. What is it I can do for you? Well, I'm looking for a car. Okay, I can't help you. Sorry. Thanks for calling, though. Why, why can't you help me? I'm not interested. Thanks for calling. Have a great day. Interested in what? Aren't you selling car? How do you treat your customers? No, I'm not interested. You don't. I don't have something you're calling about. I'm not looking to sell you a car. Have a great day. I seen a bunch of cars on there. I'm not interested, man. Have a great day. What's wrong with you? No, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm trying to say goodbye and be I friendly. I don't care. It doesn't matter. No, you're a cunt. Yeah, whatever. Calm yourself down, buddy. Cunt. Yeah, you sound like a re inbred. Do whatever you want, man. I'm not interested in selling you a car. You don't even know what you're calling about. Yeah, whatever. Go fuck your mother. Well, I tried to get as much of that as I could. And then Popo came up. Jeez, people are so entitled. You got a Camaro with a Corvette engine and you don't know anything about it. What are you wanting me to do? Well, um, pretty much, uh, only drove it one time, but it sounds like it's got, it's got a whistle to it. Somebody says it's got a fast engine in it. So you want me to uh, fix your car? Sure. So you want me to fix your car over the phone? No, I'm not asking you to fix my car over the phone. I'm sorry, trying to be funny. Why are you trying to be funny? You know what? I think you need to figure out... Okay, what, okay, what you know what? Oh, boy. Fuck your mother, you inbred cunt. I'm not, I'm not Fuck your me. mother, you goddamn loser. Learn something in life, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, come on down here. Come on down here, you fucking inbred. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Come on down, I got plenty of lead for your fucking ass. Yeah, bitch, you don't even know what a river is. Bet you can't spell it. You can have a B in it. Yeah, I missed about a half a dozen calls from here. What can I do for you? <laughs> well, the reason I'm calling is because I saw, I saw that you, you own a Honda Rebel? No, I don't got nothing like that no more. It's been like six years ago, man. I'm sorry. Oh, because I've been, I've been looking at, at, the, at the, on YouTube. And see, I, I'm in the process of buy, I want to buy me one. But down here, where, where I'm calling, for the 250 and I... I don't want a 250, I want a 400, a 450, or a 350. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, good luck, man. I don't know. I would try eBay. How do you get into eBay? How do you do that? Uh, you just go online, man. Okay, well, I'm sorry, buddy. I, I thought that was no a No problem. No problem. Have a great day, sir. Okay, see me now. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's You're going to have to figure that out somewhere else. I can't appraise things or fix things on, over the phone. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. Getting ready to leave. Got my workout bag. I left the light on the Volvo. And I knew I was going to also. I don't know why. I don't know. I think it was the headlights at least. And I had a key. <laughs> I got in my car. And I dropped it down in the center console where the cup holder is. And it went shink right in the part where the lid has a little slit. So, yeah, this is coming up very soon. First off, all of this is going. I'm getting the trash out of here. I've got it all almost bagged up up here but they still attack possums coons cats squirrels so like i was saying there i killed my ball ball and i'm gonna take this out with me now i'm actually killing Three or four or five birds with one stone. Well, I'm killing them right here. Yeah, buddy. There's something, I don't know. But, got a new key for my gate. 
Is that a new lock? I hope it's a matched padlock set. If not, no, I don't have a key. Let's see. Should be. It is not. Okay. Five, six birds with one stone. Unmatched. Amazing, actually. And I am going to work out. So I'm going to <laughs> this isn't even a work walk. I'm going to go actually tan as well. Yeah, go ahead, poke fun. I don't give a shit. It's my life. It's what I need to do right now. batteries are in the front of these. They see me smacking my lock off every <laughs> three or four days. Look at that. Cheap lock is a cheap lock. It actually, wow, it's not even brass. It's like, it's, it's gold spray painted cast iron. Gold spray painted cast iron. It sure looks it sure looks like it's fucking brushed copper. Get down, copper. Oh my. I just realized. I don't know. That I've ever had to open the hood on this. I think it's been undone for me when it was at the auction. Like it was not open, you know. I don't think I know anything about it. In fact, this is scary. When you put your hand in here, you're right by the condenser. I guess you're supposed to know where. I guess I could look it up. I'm gonna have to in a minute. It's kind of amazing. on this side. It has to be. Think about this, you're watching and I have no clue how to open my hood. You know what? This one's not latched. That's I see nothing. Nothing. There's not something there. A little handle. No battery. Uh oh. Womp womp. <laughs> okay, is there a charging post? Womp womp. Oh, this is ridiculous. Are you serious? Are you sincere with this? That's ridiculous. Let's see if Google is faster than... Volvo battery location, XC90. Here's a matching video. Let's see... where this thing is. Come on. Show me about it. Come on. Dude, I'll give you a like and all that stuff. Come on. Really? Okay, well. I think I'm gonna have to alter my plans here. I'm not gonna drive that anyways, so 
Let's just get on the fucking road. We'll be mine. Next thing. That's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'll find that while I'm on the road. That would just be smarter. Oh my god, I can hear Breeder barking all the way out here. There has to be a, um... Boom. Probably there and there. I'm gonna double check that. We'll double check that there. Never can be too careful when you don't know. I think in life it's very important to be very, what do you, what would you call it? Very, um, attuned and in, in tune. There you go. Very attuned or in tuned with the fact that you probably don't know everything. This car is a fucking rocket. And it's got a battery. <laughs> okay. Out of here. To get down here to this tanning place. Arby's, McDonald's. Everything. I pass everything. Everything. And I don't know how to run. I have no clue how to run the f fucking AC in this thing. There we go. I learned that about the radio a while back. This car is a beast. I gotta go to Kinko's. Oh, wow. It's not even Kinko's no more. They've lost the name. Holy shit. They absorbed it. A name like Kinko's gone. Oh, Yogurtland, Chipotle, Wingstop, Jamba Juice, Starbucks. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my Lord. Everything. Okay, well, I'm gonna clip this off. Actually, I might as well leave it running for a second. I'm basically there. I'm freaked out at people. I just get around them. Offensive, defensively, driving the offensively or defensive way. People sit here in the middle of this intersection at the oddest angle. Like there's almost no way to get really bro you've got like so much room seriously seriously <laughs> fucking idiot it's so much room so much time before i even got there okay well this is my tanning thing me tanning thing this can be as dumb as you want it to be i don't give a shit what anybody thinks about it the only problem I've got today with this, again, I came four times. I figure five or six would be. So they just come twice a month or something, or just work with no shirt on. But I have left all my, oh, I cleaned my bag out too good. A man needs a sock. Hello. We're still at last name. W R A T I S. Nathan. Yes, ma'am. You're all set in the stand up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's all self service to me. Just take whatever from here, or how does that work? No. Yeah. This is what happens when you have serving most customers all day. They're like, hey, have a drink with me. I'm all, no, I'm here till six o'clock. There you go. Thank you. Oh yeah, there's no lock. 
that's actually very interesting. I'll try and show you in a minute here, but I'm gonna have to shut this off now. Thank you. They got all their little snacks and brownies and mimosas. Mm. Yeehaw for FedEx. Let's see what it's all about. I ain't been there in years. In fact, since it was Kinko's. I don't even know if it's on. Is it on? It's on. Cool. Fuck. All right, it's a fucking 25 of these. For numbers, I take 36 pills in the morning, about 24 in the afternoon, and about 18 at night. Plus, Three different drinks in the day. Plus, protein shakes. I'm trying to get a couple of them down. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can stir up. Hi. How do I use the computers and print something? You insert a credit card, debit card, or you put cash on the FedEx card, and you were all set. Cool. Thank you. Well, this should be easy. Maybe. See what we got here. <laughs> so we're using a FedEx workstation. What the fuck? They will read my card.
Okay, so you put your credit card in there. If it even restarts. Holy shit. It charged me six dollars and ninety-four cents. And it printed out my letter for me. So six pages. different documents sometimes you gotta print out and sign. I just paid seven dollars. I gotta get a printer. I just paid seven dollars, baby. Seven dollars. To what? To print out six pages. That could have cost me a quarter. And I just did the same thing for um, some other documents I had to do for an escrow. It's ridiculous. I've gotta get a fucking goddamn fucking printer that works. They're like, what, $50 nowadays, maybe? Idiot. I <laughs> did a little cute bobcat. A 463. Man, I run a 843. 63, I don't know. I run a 7 or something? Never even seen a 4. It's like a while back I learned they make a one series beamer. For fuck's sake. Hey there, uh, I'm calling about uh, the black Mercedes, the CL2550. Okay, what can I tell you? Uh, well, where, where are you located? Because I'm on Old Highway 80 right now at your address, and I don't know where you're located. Oh, I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot like that. I got storage lot stuff. I don't have it sitting out there with some slick guy coming to make you a deal on it or nothing. Oh, well, no. I just, on your website, it actually says that you have an address. That's why I came here. Well, like I say, I don't have a lot like that where people just stop buying everything and I show stuff. I have uh, storage lots, and in fact, that one's my mom's driver. So, I mean, she's actually driving it. Okay. Um, okay, so is it for sale or, or? It is for sale. Okay. What's it on there for? It's on there for um, no, $12,350. Won't take a penny less. Don't even care if we sell it at that price. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. You know, and people wonder why I'm not nicer to people sometimes. I know this guy. I know the type of person when they call. I know him. How do I know the type of person without meeting him or talking to him more? Because if you're the type of person that looked on a website and seen an address and are in an LA phone number and you fucking call up looking for a lot that you're gonna stop by and look at something you're coming to beat me down on it try and make a deal try and use it as leverage that you need this for this because you know you drove down here or this there's, there's gonna be more shit to do with it the guy is probably a dealer or wholesaler I've got the thing super low mile on there, and it's for twelve thousand three hundred. He's got fifty thousand miles. My mom's driving it. My mom. And people just think that they're gonna stop by and look at stuff. Well, I don't have that kind of lot with some slick shark salesman out there looking to get him in this car today. I don't want to get him in the car. I care less if they get in the car ever. But. Maybe that answers some of that kind of stuff. Nice enough guy. But I think it's probably the wholesaler. What will you take for the car? Well, I mean, that's pretty simple getting to his point. The point is he just wants to beat me up on the car. You got any questions about the car? I'm looking for you. Uh, my guy. Uh, now, I know this. If I'm in Los Angeles and I find a car, I'm like, well, god dang it, that's the car I want. I think I'll jump in the car and drive three and a half hours. 
not likely. In town for Thanksgiving, gonna stop by, something like that, likely. But just because you see a website somewhere, we're not to the do not pass sign yet. Boom, we did it beforehand. <laughs> you see a little address and you just drive to it. Right here. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it's the day after Thanksgiving. Maybe that place is not even open. Amazing. I'm just trying to explain to you the little things that are little keys to me. Because I get a lot of hell for the way I answer my calls and the way I don't... I'm supposed to do any... You're supposed to do anything to sell that car to that person. I had somebody tell me that. A couple people, actually. No, I'm not. I don't care if these people buy my fucking cars. I can run that through the auction and get that. I'm going to call my dad. I'm going to call my daddy. I'm going to call my dad. I'm going to do that right now on the filming. On the filming. On the filming. That sounds German. It does. Oh, jeez. This car is a rocket, man. An absolute rocket. And I'll tell you what, I just did that thing where basically I needed to print some forms. And I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, oh, God, I'm going to like, am I going to put them on a list? Uh, on a, a little SD card? And then I'll... I don't even have Microsoft Word on my computer, so this complexifies the problem even more. With no MS Word, what are you going to do? Or Microsoft Works or nothing. So, in the end, I put it in Google Drive. Signed in and printed it. That simple. Think of this, I could have done it from home. I'm going to call him. He ain't going to want to sell it. I'll clip it in somewhere else when I do talk to him. Oh, this is Fred Levenspaw. Fred, what are you up to? I'll talk to him later. Okay, man. At the gym. Yeehaw. Okay. I am done at the gym. And I feel today... Don't come out here, buddy. Uh, we got a big old... Oh, he toes that truck. I feel like I got one of the best, if not the best workouts that I've gotten in recent years. Years! And I'm going to pick up <laughs> where I left off but call him a dad and saying, dude, do you really want to take that much for that car? You know, anytime somebody calls and their first question is, what's the least you'll take? <clears throat> Wrong question, buddy. I don't even care. How much is it on there for 12 3 I'll take 15000 But that's more than you. That's, that's much more than you. That's, that's... that's right. That's right. Jeez, Dad. Oh, this is Fred Rattlesaw. Not I'm really, it's finished. not. I'll be right back. I'll tell you what, coming off the on-ramps onto the freeways, People think they're basically going to cut you off and stuff. Not in this car, they're not. 340 horse of beef right now. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Good car. I haven't even got a video of it up yet. Now, I don't know what I threw in here and what I didn't, but I have my paperwork. Geez, I've got to get to the post office in no time. No time. What no time is it? So I've got about 20 minutes or so. I know how to jump my Volvo now. Jeez. I got a meeting at 5.30 I'm trying to make. And it seems like there's just no way to get done in a day in enough time. Oops, I left, a, left my hammer right there. Nah, if you need to get in, just I tell my dad that too. He says, oh, I need this. Just go by and bust the lock off. Look, there's another one. <laughs> another one over there. I don't care. And I, I don't even buy masters anymore. I used to buy masters. 
Man, you're not you're not protecting your stuff from somebody that's like a cat burglar and they're coming by to like get in your place with a black suit on or something. You're protecting your place from honest thieves. Your friends. Your friends. People you know. That's who comes by and steals your shit. Not from thieves. Okay, well, birthday week. And I am kind of gonna do some personal stuff here. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna kick it up and knock. BAM! And stuff. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll talk to ya. Trying to get to the post office. It's like 4.40. They close in 20 minutes. Got my dishes. <laughs> if you leave this shit out here. If you leave it out here too long. Especially with no water in it or something. It'll get attacked by the mongrels. Yeah, the mongrels. I was so hoping I left the keys in here. And then I heard the bing, bing, bing. And I knew I did. I had a guy call and he was interested in the Mercedes CLK 550. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm out here in Lakeside. It's your old Highway 80 and I can't find you. And, and I'm like, dude, you know, I like, seriously, you like showed up somewhere from LA and you never even called about the car, you know? So. I was out at I was out at the whole highway eight a couple two or three times today, but I, I know what you're saying. What a what a guy. So I said, you know, I said I can, I'm not got the slick lot set up to just sell you something today or nothing. I said, but that's actually my mom's driver. I said, you know, and if you call ahead of time, I could maybe even check now and get you set up to look at it and stuff. But you know, you got any questions or what? Well, I was just out here. Um, wow. Um, Looking for, wow, so you're not here? Stuff like that. I, I said, yeah, man, I said, but uh, what, any questions or anything? Yeah, um, what's the lease you'll take for it? I said, dude, what's it on there for? He says, 12-3. I said, not a dime less. So is that right? You don't want less than 12-3 for that right no, now at this point in life. No, because she likes driving. I just put two new tires on the front yeah. and registered it now. We well, can replace it for eleven, and I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if you can replace it and be confident in it, something that you're not. I mean, you're confident in it. You might as well keep it and drive well, it, and we'll get. Yeah, that's. Rather take ten in a year. Right. Right. Okay. I called uh, Mannheim, and they're not open today, naturally. Fuck. What? Huh. What? Yeah. That sucks. That'd have been nice yeah. to know. The uh, the nerds were going to move the yellow Cadillac, you know, a week ago or whatever. Yeah, I'll move the Cadillac. Well, it won't move. Well, we had a flat tire, you dummy. So I blew the tire up and I pulled it out. And I'm gonna, I haven't got to hold of the guy yet. I'm telling him he can back in there and empty my trailer out because he owes me 